Carl's on the show today. We're gonna talk about options for dechlorinating the water your plants drink. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it, it'll be fun. Today, Carl is on the show and we're talking about dechlorination options. Not just this, this is a good one. Cheap, effective, but uh, also uh, some other things too. Uh, it's in a video, I did it a little while ago, and I'm gonna show it to you now. So watch the video, I'll talk to you after. <laughs> hey there, we're here with Carl. Carl was just talking to us seconds ago in uh, TV time, not in real time, your time, uh, about uh, how to use Microbe Life products all together, and it was awesome, but I was talking to him and he said, Bob, we gotta talk about Dechlorinator. Is that right, we gotta talk about Dechlorinator? Absolutely not. Let's talk about Dechlorinator. Okay. Dechlorinator. You know, Bob, I, this is going to be exciting. I have some options for people. Really? To okay. You know, it, it, to, to really break it down. First off, you and I have gotten feedback, so let me make this clear before we even start. Okay. We have many folks, once we do these videos and promotions, that say, you know what? I have city water, I've ran chlorine and chloramines with my additives, uh -huh. with my food, and I have great results with my plants. Fair enough. Different strokes for different folks. Now, I come out very aggressive with the chlorination and chloramine, like the nuclear holocaust. <laughs> so not so much with the different strokes. <laughs> right, but the point being, uh -huh. these guys are correct. And here's why they're correct in getting good success. Uh -huh. For instance, photosynthesis plus. Uh -huh. Now you can run that with your chlorinated water. Uh -huh. Address the plants, no matter what you're growing. Say, gosh, this thing's working, it's working well. Uh -huh. Here's the facts. Okay. The photo or any other beneficials that you're using, at some point, being if it's a bacillus spore-based bacteria that takes a longer time to release, yeah. be applicable to the plant. You're going to lose an average of 25 to 30 percent of this value when you're running it. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. You bought the product. You're getting success. Great. Uh huh. If you want 100 percent of the value out of this, or no matter what you're running, uh huh. You want 70 percent of it. I got gotcha. you. Sure. Percent of this is hey, whatever. 70 percent is fine. <laughs> and God bless you. Uh huh. My point in telling everyone is you pay good money today to buy your nectar products, sure. your cultured products, your blacksmith, your mm -hmm. on and on and on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not get the whole package? That makes perfect sense. For the buck. Yeah, you're just throwing it away. You're throwing away your money. You're throwing away the efficacy of something that can really help your plants too. Exactly. So what are the options, Carl? Okay, so it's pretty simplistic. Okay. I'm going to go into RO system because that probably stands at the deep, you know, the most investment. I'm going to get um, those, I can't think of the name of the place, but there's a place that, that makes those systems. I'm going to get their guy on here and he's going to talk about the RO. So don't worry about the RO. We'll get that. What's the other, what are the other solutions if you can't quite stomach or budget the, uh, the RO situation? Now, these other three solutions are all solutions that I use. Okay on my residence and in my grow here. Mm -hmm. The first, now I'm going to go from most expensive to least. Okay, that sounds great. So American Plumber, well, we dealt a lot with household and nursery systems uh -huh. as far as filtering. Sure. So we're all well aware of the carbon filtering. Taste and odor, sediment, chlorine and chloramine removal. Uh huh. This is a unit made by American Plum. Now, this is used. Excuse me. Oh, I'm losing you. <laughs> it was the sneeze. I blew you off the screen. There we go. <laughs> that was the customer calling us. Um, this you can use in the household or uh -huh. the greenhouse. Okay. You can use darts and plants. Mm -hmm. And this is a double filter, double carbon filter. Uh huh. So, I'll show you real quick. These are enhanced carbon. Now, what you'll find in your grow store, there's a lot of clear housing. Uh huh. Now, some people don't like the clear housing because, depending on where it's set up, you get some algae growth in it sometimes. I gotcha. Okay. Uh huh. 
this is closed housing. It's dark. You're not going to get any algae. So you see it's a double compartment. Okay. So what this one does is it removes 99.9% .9 of your chlorine chloramines. Okay. So we have a carbon filter. Right. Again, these are in case these are open mesh filters. You can see their house. Yeah, okay. Side. And we have sediment filter. Now this one, you can see the porous material. And this basically, you know, when you're dealing with rust, sand, small sediments. Chunks of stuff. This is gonna catch that before it goes into the carpet. Okay. So we're dealing with the taste, the odor, the chlorine, and chlorine. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. So what's nice about this system, Bob, is a couple things. Uh-huh. Once you invest in a system like this, you basically, you have your unit. Uh-huh. And it's always gonna be there where it's installed, how you're using it. And depending on how much water you push through it, you're gonna remake you're gonna replace your filters every so let's let's say uh, four months or so. Okay. And it's like, well, do I write down the date when I put the filters in? How do I know about gallonage of water? Depending on what you're getting for a unit, Bob, and the reason I like this one from American Plumber uh -huh. and how they did such a great job uh -huh. is we have sensor up front. I'm gonna get that close to the camera. Sure, so I see it, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you see you have basically a green light, an amber light, and a red light. Okay. Now the green light means you're locked and loaded, you're good to go. Okay. Everything's going to be filtered. Once you get into the amber light, you're close to having a filter change. Okay. Once you're on the red light, it's time to change the filter. There you go. You see this in airports a lot by the drinking fountains now. Oh yeah. When you go to the airport, uh -huh. you're looking by the drinking fountain to fill your water jug like I do. Uh huh. If it's green, you know everything's good. When uh -huh. it's red, you know the filters need to be changed. Right. And uh -huh. the filtration sure. isn't where it needs to be. Uh huh. Okay. So that's your double filter, and that's going to run you an average of a couple hundred bucks. Bob. Okay. So our so, most expensive, this second most expensive. Right. Okay. The other one that's hit the industry that I just came across uh -huh. recently this year. Uh huh. And you and I just spoke about. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. You talked to me about it. Yeah, it's, this is a neat one. It's called Ideal. I think I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, any one of your grocery stores that people like to shop at uh -huh. can order this. Okay. Um, this is a private label product through Sunlight Supply. Uh huh. You know, depending on the individuals where they want to buy products from, that's where it comes from. Uh huh. This is what's neat about it, Bob. The MSRP on it runs about forty-five, fifty dollars. Okay. If you're doing a lot of business, you probably have a pretty good discount on it. It's not going to cost you that much. Uh huh. But this is a hose in application. Okay. What's neat about this? This is focused as taste and odor carbon. Uh huh. More on the chlorine chloramines than taste though. Okay. Unlike the double filter for household for drinking, the taste is a big thing. Sure. This still really isn't your best friend for taste. Uh huh. But I tell people don't drink out of the garden hoses either. Yeah. But where I like this is for my livestock with my chickens. Okay. They filter water every time I feed them. Uh huh. But the other nice thing by hooking this up the hose, right? And roving through my garden. Uh, I could have a hose in sprayer sure. on the end, uh -huh. up my nutrient buckets. This bob is going to treat 8,000 gallons. Wow, that's a lot. Now that's a lot of water if uh -huh. you have it on a manifold on your hose and you're just using it, say, for your garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in this case, for me, it's hooked up on a manifold out of my chicken coop. Every well, time I put the chicken water in, it's good, it's clean, and then when I hook the hose up, yeah. I go out in the garden. The well, I like that for doing the hose in things. I do some of those hose in things in my yard, and I'm thinking I got all these microbes in here, and I'm I'm spraying them with chlorinated water. So this is a nifty deal. This Bob is amazing. Uh huh. So for fifty dollars, and this is throw away afterwards. Eight thousand gallons. Uh huh. You know, yeah. Your purified water filter system. Uh huh. Basically, what it is all in one. Uh huh. You're good to go with that. Okay. Okay. So we went from two hundred dollars. Say to fifty dollars. Right. Now we're going to go even more inexpensive and go at the ten dollar window or less. So as you know, microwave. Right. Uh huh. 
was our new chlorinator, and we've done some video. Yeah, we've talked about it at length. Yeah. People say, well, it's a chemical and organic. Do I infuse it mm -hmm. in my gardens? Yeah. We spoke about how this is a chemical act mm -hmm. reaction. Right. Uh huh. Sodium thiosulfate basically goes in, binds the chlorines, turns it back into chloride. Trace amount of salt. Mm -hmm. Again, this isn't for drinking because it's not about taste for the water. Right. But it right. is about neutralizing the water. Okay. With chlorine and chloramine. You know. For your plants. And I'm in my bubbling bucket here, you know, in 12 hours, you know, the chlorines would be gone. Uh-huh. Uh, chloramines could take a month because wow. you know, that, we, that ammonia particular sure. bonding to the chlorine. Yeah. And it can take a very long time, sometimes mm -hmm. over 45 days. Wow. Before we release. It's a so long time. So <laughs> of that isn't necessarily going to do the trick for you. Sure. Now, five mils to 10 gallons, that's a teaspoon. Okay, here's a 50 gallon bucket. I put that whole 30 milliliters in. That's uh -huh. like 50 gallons, a capful. Wow. So okay. By the time I just finished that and talking to you, everything is now neutralized. Holy moly. Everything's so, being aerated. This has been fully circulated. My water from my garden, which I have a spigot on the bottom, to put uh -huh. water on them. And if I'm doing a tea cycle brew in this, or I'm just doing my aerated water that basically goes 24-7. Uh-huh. I'm ready to address anything in water. Wow. As far as plants, like oh. all my chickens, if I wanted to do that, I didn't have the hose in connected. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But this really puts the staple, or the label on my garden, as I tried it in bean, as safe and organic, non-chemical. Nice. And again, you know, they have, people have access to your webpage, to your store, to buy any one of these three. Mm-hmm. You know, but this is the most inexpensive, and it does its job, though, especially for the gardeners. Yeah. If you want something more, you know, intensive for your drinking water uh -huh. in the house. So or this is in your specialized greenhouse. You uh huh. Sure. So this this doesn't taste good, but it is dechlorinated for your plants. Exactly, Bob. It tastes salty, probably. Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. I tasted it. It doesn't. It's not that bad, huh? <laughs> you want to drink a bottle of? Yeah, okay. Well, but cool, you could, but why would you? <laughs> I can't think of any reason to. Well, that's I'm awesome, covered. Carl. Yeah. I think you covered it pretty well. We just need to talk to someone about the RO, and we've got this subject handled. I think you do, Bob. Very cool. I think you do. Well, thanks, Carl. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for doing the video. Thanks for helping me, Bob. <laughs> Grow happy, baby. Here's where we stay. Just... There you did it! We did it! <laughs> For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code OCGFAMSHOW. It's going to save you 20%, and it's a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.